In Uganda, a crimson dirt path looks even redder against the pale yellow grass scorching under the African sun. His Eminence Metropolitan Jonah of Kampala in all Uganda does not seem to notice the heat as he leads us towards a simple concrete church. We respectfully stand to the side as His Eminence walks to the iconostas. Going to the right first, he venerates the icon, lifting his hand up ever so softly and brushing it back and forth. He moves again in what feels like slow motion to the icon on the left and he venerates it too. Faith and unconditional love emanate from his being. Despite all the hardships and challenges that he and his people face, his faith never falters. We are so far away from anything familiar to us and yet here we are at home, together serving the mission of the Orthodox Church. From the moment we arrived in Uganda, we received so much more than we could ever give. We received the love of His Eminence and the faithful people of Uganda. We were welcomed into their homes and in their lives. Uganda is such an incredible place. Even though the entire country is only the size of the state of Massachusetts, it has 100 Orthodox communities, 18 medical clinics, and a hospital. These thriving communities of faith are served by 78 priests and four deacons. The country of Uganda, however, faces challenging conditions including an influx of refugees, a growing youth population, and the most heart-wrenching prevalence of violence against women and children. With generous support from the St. Nictadios Education Fund, International Orthodox Christian Charities has built three schools that are run by the Ugandan Orthodox Church. The program includes separate dorms for boys and girls, rainwater harvesting systems, modern latrines, laundry areas, and showers. With the blessings of His Eminence, a new laboratory was recently completed. These schools are helping over a thousand students build the lives they envision. These children are hungry for knowledge, thirsty for opportunity, and strengthened in their dreams and work by the support of the church. Resilience has been a core value for IOCC going to back to our first mission statement, which is articulated as responding to the call. Responding means to position the churches and the people we are serving to respond to their own challenges. Thank you for your generous support of IOCC. Join us as we strive to serve in the spirit of God's love and treat people with dignity and respect. All the population of Uganda Orthodox Church is of young people. May God bless you.